A soil has a water content of 15% and bulk density of 20.1 kN per cubic meters and partially dries to a density of 19.4 kN per cubic meters. What is the water content of that soil while the vote ratio remains constant? In order to solve this problem, we are going to use the following formula. Where the variables in this formula stand for the following gamma subscript B stands for bug density. The reason why we use this formula is because this formula shows the relationship between bug density and specific gravity, unit weight, water content, and void ratio. So from the equation, the water content before the soil was partially dried is 15%, while the bulk density changed from 20.1 to 19.4 kN per cubic meter. So now we want to find the water content after the soil was partially dried. But we are told that the vol ratio remains constant after the soil was partially dry. So if the vol ratio is constant, then the unit weight is also constant, and also the specific gravity is constant. GX, gamma subscript W, and the vol ratio are constant. So the only variable that is not constant in this formula is the water content. So the water content change. So mathematically, the relationship between the bug density and the water content in this formula is gamma subscript B is directly proportional to one plus W. So that means if the bulk density changes, the water content will change in the same amount. So they are directly uh, proportional to each other. So we can write it, uh, this as bug density equals K one plus W. So this is the same thing as if we make K the subject formula, gamma subscript B over one plus W equals K. Where K is the is a constant is a constant of proportionality. So if K is constant it implies that what is on the left hand side is also the same with what is on the right hand side. So that means we can rewrite this equation as gamma subscript B 
1 plus w so 1 equals gamma sub squared b 2 1 plus w 2 So this implies that the left hand side of the equation is the bulk density and the water content before the soil was partially dried. Y, gamma subscript B2 and uh, water content as W2 is the bulk density and the water content after the soil was partially dried. So now that we have this equation, We are going to make this the subject of formula since we want to find the the water content after the soil was dried. So we have so now that we we have this formula. We are going to plug in the values into this formula and then find the water content after the soil was dry. So from the equation, the water content, which is W1, is the 10% after the soil uh, before the soil was dry. Gamma subscript B1 is 20.1. Then gamma subscript B2 is 19.4. So let's plug in a value set of the formula. We have 1 plus W2 equals 19.4 over 20.1, 1 plus 0.15. So this is 0.15 because 15 percent is the same thing as 15 over 100 which is equal to 0 0.15 so that's it so now we're going to divide 19.4 by 20.1 so if you divide it we have 0 0.965, 0 0.9, 65, 1 plus 0 0.15. So if you multiply 0.965 by 1.15, times 1.15 we have 1.10995 so now let's subtract 1 from 1.10995 we take one to the right hand side. So, and then five minus one. So if you do the subtraction, you're gonna get 0 0.10. 0 .10. Nine nine five. So this is the water content of the soil after it was dried. But since water content is usually expressed in percentage, we are going to multiply this by hundred in order to get the answer in percentage. So if you multiply by hundred, we're going to get 
tan let's do the multiplication so times 100 we have 10.995 so if you approximate this, we have 11 percent. So this is the final answer. This is the water content after the soil was partially dried. 